Hello, my name is Jack Judd. I am head of Lower Primary School. Welcome to Hong Kong Yu Chung Primary Section. As you can see across the road, we have one of our many ECE campuses. And as we are a through train school, which means we take children all the way from ECE through Lower Primary, Upper Primary, and onto our secondary school. At Yu Chung, we like to think of our spaces as learning communities. And the main reason for that is we've tried to move away from the traditional thoughts with the classroom. A teacher at the front and the children standing there looking. As you can see, we like to keep things flexible and we like to really encourage the children to move around, work in different groups and really use the most of our areas possible. The students that we get at Yu Chung come from such a wide and diverse range of cultures and that is something that we see as a real strength of ours. To nurture that further, as a part of the transition from ECE to Year 1, we still utilise Cantonese, Putonghua and English, and then we move up through the school where we move into more of a 30% Chinese and 70% English with all of our instructions, our teaching and our learning. And now we move on to our Year 2 and 3 campus, which is just over the road from our Year 1 campus and also our upper primary campus. As you can see here, we have another amazing outdoor space where we utilise for different ASAs and also for various playgrounds and uh, lesson activities and opportunities. And now we're moving down our wonderful Year 2 corridor. As you can see, we're surrounded by projects. The Year 2s are currently working on a Planet Earth um, unit where they are discovering the universe and also learning about our sun. And moving into one of our year two classrooms, as well as complementing our project-based learning approach, we also identify and, and understand the importance for standalone lessons, such as our maths, our English, our grammar, and our writing. And we normally have about five hours of maths lessons a week, which are standalone. Um, we do try as much as possible to integrate that within to our, into our PBL units, but we know that sometimes that's not always possible. As well as our standalone units, we also have a rigorous assessment that we take place at the start, the middle and the end of the year. Those assessments are such things as writing, reading, spelling and grammar and maths. And we use that to inform how we're going to teach and how we're going to move forward. And our teachers do a really good job of also having our formative assessment, which is our day-to-day -day assessment inside the learning spaces to guide where we want the children to go towards the end of the unit. We've moved the shift in the last few years and all of our children have the opportunity to have one-to-one -one iPads, which is provided by the school. This also links into our project-based learning approach and really encourages the children to work collaboratively and also research their projects together. So, and as we move again through the year four and five corridor, the corridors are filled with children's work on different projects. As you can see over here, we have some non-fiction writing pieces that our year fours have created. Um, all around me we have different aspects of um, electricity and science projects that the children are working on. And then over here with our bilingual, uh, our Chinese studies and our life skills where, you know, the East meets West and they, we teach and learn together. These are all stories about who the children admire the most. I think just getting a picture of walking down the corridor is just, it's a good taste of, of our East meets West curriculum, our teaching and learning as well. A major part as well that we see with our project-based learning is not just our you know, ITD and our technology, we also try to get the children involved in using their hands and we've got our amazing maker spaces that we encourage the children to use with lots of different resources to really forward think and see how they can apply their knowledge and understanding to real life things. And now we enter our year five corridor, which is another part of our learning communities and our flexible learning spaces. There's lots of open spaces for the children to work on their projects and their project-based learning. And within our classroom setting, our children have one-to-one -one iPads, uh, which means we don't really have our standalone traditional IT lessons. We, we find that every lesson should involve technology, especially as it's such an important 21st century skill. And welcome to our Year 6 corridor. This is one of our flexible learning spaces. Um, and this is typically where our project-based learning and all of our other subjects happen. Um, and as you can see, the, within the room, we have lots of different groups set up. And we really encourage the children to move around, to be flexible with their learning, and to interact with the space as best they can, as well as having multiple teachers in the room at a time. Um, which really builds on our project-based learning and our inquiry-based program. 
And just moving outside, as you can see, we have one of our, I guess, breakout classrooms. And this is where we encourage the children to um, over here take upon different projects like our gardening and sustainability projects and units. Uh, this is uh, a space where the children can, one, come along and play during their school day. But as you can see, we also offer a wider range of after school activities. Um, and these run every day and they, we offer them all the way from our year one children all the way up through to year six and we have a multitude of different sports that the children can partake in uh, to pique any of their interests and also to pursue things that they're already doing outside of school. One of the key parts that we also focus on in upper primary is making sure we really foster the growth all the way from primary up towards secondary school. And a part of that is we involve a lot of our school counsellors and our wider support system um, just to you know, work alongside the children to make sure they know where they're going and to take them above and beyond Yu Chung and into secondary school. Thank you very much for coming on our Yu Chung Primary School campus tour. We look forward to welcoming you into our Yu Chung family. And if you have any more questions, please contact our admissions team.